The relocation test and anterior release test um, can be combined with the crank test if you have a positive crank test or a positive apprehension test. In the apprehension test, you've taken the person into abduction and external rotation. They either mention that that doesn't feel good or it recreates their mechanism, or you watch for apprehension on their, on their face. The relocation test is you take your hand, you put it on the anterior aspect of the head of the humerus, and then you push it back and relocate it because it's maybe slid out. And that positive test is that relieves their symptoms. Okay? They'll say that feels better because you've relocated their humeral head where it's supposed to be after you've done the crank test. The release, the anterior release test is if you suddenly release it and then their apprehension comes back because the humeral head will want to come back out again. Okay? So that is the positive test would be um, on the relocation would be relief of symptoms. By the release, their symptoms come back. Okay? The implication is glenohumeral ligament instability, most likely anterior.